Hello, grade 6, and welcome to this week's weekly breakdown. So we are currently in the third lesson of this topic, and we are going to be talking about rocks. So when you take a look around you, you might find a lot of different rocks that have many different shapes, colors, and textures. So this is how we describe rocks. Rocks can be described by the color, the texture, the mineral composition, because rocks are basically mixtures of minerals and other materials that solidify to form rocks. When we want to describe the color or the mineral composition, we have to think about the several minerals that can be provided in the following rock, and each color can give clue to the mineral composition. As for the texture, we can talk about the pattern of the grains or the size and the shape of those grains to describe the texture. As the origin, we can see the color and the texture to identify the rock type. Geologists have discovered that there are three rock types, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. We are going to be starting off with igneous rocks. Basically, igneous rocks, they have a high temperature that can melt the rock into liquid. This is what we call molten rock. So something that has a high temperature and it melts, this is called igneous rock. It can be formed in two ways, either intrusive igneous, which means it is from the inside, or extrusive, which is lava that comes outside, externally. This is what igneous rock is. Moving on to the second type, which is sedimentary. Sedimentary rocks, from its name, it's made up of sediments or small solid pieces of material that come from rocks or living things. They form by a sequence of processes such as weathering, erosion, transportation, deposition, compaction, and cementation. We are going to talk about each process in details. As for metamorphic rocks, from the name metamorphic, so it changes its shape from uh, one shape to another or from one form to another by high temperature and pressure. These are the two factors that cause the change or the change of rock shape or form. And we are also going to be discussing how the energy flows in these processes either igneous, metamorphic, sedimentary, these all include a flow of energy so that we can be able to see the different rock types. That is it for this week's sixth grade. Thank you so much. If you need anything, you know where to find me.